I just wanted to show you guys what I got woken up to this morning. I had to wake up at 7 this morning for school. And at 6.40, all of a sudden I started hearing this, like, pounding. And it's because they were breaking up the rock out there because they have to replace the street. I don't even know why they're doing it, but whatever. And, like, it was only, like, 15 minutes before I had to actually wake up. But still, that was horrible. It was literally shaking my bed in my room. Like, and it was right outside of my room. And, like, can we not start at, like... 738 is there not a rule because I was don't wake me up uh, I don't know I guess I'm just being a baby about it but I want to share my hardships for this morning I'm gonna also show you guys what I'm wearing today because I thought I would start doing that during the weekly vlogs these shorts are from Old Navy they're like linen flowy shorts and I absolutely love them I have like eight pairs of them <laughs> for summer and then this camo shirt is from TJ Maxx and I'm not quite sure the brand is black sandals and they are from Walmart so I will link the shorts and the shoes uh, in the description below hi guys so I wanted to film a little haul of the stuff that I've gotten in the past week I'm gonna start with the room decor stuff and then I'll show you the clothes and I'll show you them on also. Well, the first thing I got, I went to this St. Charles Antique Mall and I got these four frames. The first one was this little gold frame with, if you can see it, it's got this little like accenting at the top corners, top and bottom corners, sorry, I didn't know it was at the bottom. Um, but I got this nice little gold frame and none of them have backs to them obviously, or like glass, so I'm gonna have to find a way to put them in there. Um, I was thinking staples, but then if I ever need to take them out, they're going to get ripped, is what <laughs> I was advised. So I think I'm going to have to tape them in there somehow, but we'll see. Second one I got was this nice white frame, and I really, really liked the distressed look of this one. And then this is my, probably, this one and the white one are definitely my top two favorites. Uh, because I really, really, really like this navy blue. Um, and I like how it's distressed, and I also like the details on this one too and then the last one I got is this plain wood one um, it has a little wire to it but I feel like I might take it off just because it's kind of annoying but yeah it's just a plain wood one it's got some detailing on the sides uh, but yeah all pretty nice frames pretty big so the other thing that I got from the antique mall is this nice coat rack I finally found when I was so freaking excited they had tons to choose from but this was the cheapest and it also matched my theme it's like this lime green color but it has this really nice top to it i really like the top it's nice and detailed so you can put your hats on it nice rod iron hooks and yeah it's pretty sturdy pretty big the last part of my room decor haul that i got was this earring holder from amazon it's just like a simple white pegged earring holder and I really really liked it because before I had that little tray and it was getting so cluttered and I just couldn't handle it anymore so I finally got an earring holder that I've been wanting for forever and I definitely recommend it if you have tons of earrings that you just want to get organized and I will definitely link it down below. This is this little jumpsuit, the white shirt I put on because when I put it on it shows my bra straps and I am not built for strapless bras so I thought that this looked cute like either way or in this winter or whatever. If you want to put a cardigan over it, that'd be good too. It's like a cropped jumpsuit, so it definitely does go all the way down. I'm really getting into this jumpsuit vibe. This is my favorite thing out of the whole clothing haul, but I really, really like this leopard dress. I've been wanting things leopard all summer. Uh, it's from ASOS and the denim jumpsuit is from Target I believe but they're both from Depop and I will definitely link her name the seller that I got it from down below but it buttons all the way down and then it has well it buttons like mostly all the way down and then it has the slit in ooh, scales, in the bottom and I'm short but it's not that long like it's long but if I wore heels or boots or just kind of like picked it up as I go it definitely wouldn't bother me at all 
the last thing I got from this seller is this H&M hat. It's like one of those floppy sun hats. And it'd be really, really cute with this outfit, but it'd also be cute with any other um, outfit that you'd want to pair it with. I feel like I'm going to brunch in this hat. Like, I just love it so much. But yes, those are the items I got from her. I will link her name down below for her Depop. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want happy friday it's been a little bit since i've updated you it's been since tuesday so sorry about that i started work back this week on monday which if you guys don't know during the school year i work at an elementary school and i do their like before school after school care program and then during the summer they have a summer camp it's tiring let me tell you i <laughs> i have never worked a summer camp before we went on a field trip on Wednesday to the circus and I hate the circus. I don't know, it's just weird to me. Circuses are weird and I also just, I don't like the whole animal factor of it. I don't like how they treat animals even if they are treating them good behind the scenes. I don't like the fact that they use them for show. It's just not my thing, I don't enjoy it. Um, it was also, it was in like an actual circus tent. Like I've never been in an actual circus tent. I've been to one circus before and it was when I was little um and it was hot as hades in there it was so friggin hot like i was sweating and all these kids came out with like red faces and their hair sticking to their foreheads and so it was insane it was so hot in there um and then i worked an eight hour day that day with the field trip and then i stayed until five so i was there from nine to five and then i also had to work yesterday and today i babysit so i i get to stay home but it was insane. It was an insane week, so I'm sorry I didn't update you sooner. I was just, I was tired. I was, my body was trying to get used to having those long days um, of hot and like always running around doing something. I guess I'll show you my outfit. I was trying to do that ring thing where like you put some on like the middle of your finger because these don't fit my fat fingers all the way down. So thanks Shein, but I still like them. So I wanted to use them. I don't know how I feel about the whole like middle of the finger thing yet. I so I don't have shoes on yet, but I'll be wearing my uh, white high top Vans. Um, and then these Bermuda cutoff shorts are from Old Navy. They're like the light, light wash ones. Um, and then this shirt, if you can see, it says beautiful all the way down. Um, I got this from Old Navy and it's like one of those oversized boyfriend t-shirts. Boyfriend and girlfriend t-shirts, I can't remember what they're called. But this will all be linked down below. I'm tired. <laughs> I am though. Hello everyone. Um, I'm running errands. I have to go to the post office to get, or to send out um, a Depop order. And then, oh, the light is shining. <laughs> and then <laughs> I also have to run and get cookies um for this party that we're having later which is where we have these like family friends that come over every friday night and one of them is moving to new york for a job um we're having like a going away party tonight for him so what you guys will see and i need to get cookies for it now but i had to stop at dunkin donuts first because dunkin is my shit listen i hate starbucks because I understand some people like Starbucks, some people like Dunkin', some people like their like local coffee. Local coffee is way too expensive for my ass. If I'm going like almost every other day, mm, oh thank you. Starbucks is also expensive and I just don't, I feel like I don't have as much freedom. I don't know, I just feel like I don't have as much freedom to customize my coffee, but then again I'm not that hard to deal with. I literally get a hazelnut or caramel iced coffee at Dunkin' and then add cream. But they just, they understand me. They know me. I just, I just feel it. I just feel it with them. So, um, it was a large coffee kind of day because you girls are tired. So, <sighs> yes. All right. I'm ready for the day. I'm pretty good at adulting. I'm pretty, pretty responsible in my humble opinion. 
But the post office scares the living shiznit out of me. I don't know why, but I always feel like when I walk out of there, I did something wrong. And like my package is not gonna get shipped or like I pissed somebody off. I don't know, the, pe the post office just scares the living shit out of me. So I go in there and it's just like one of those uh, like yellow uh, insulated envelopes with a t-shirt in it, that's it. That's all I had to do. So I walk in and this lady comes up to me and she goes, do you, are you using debit or credit? I said, yeah. And she goes, so do you want to use the self-service kiosk instead of having to wait? Because I had pulled a number I had like five people to wait for. I was, I didn't mind waiting, but then I didn't want to tell this lady no because if I could obviously do it by myself, mine is freaking well. So I do, and I don't know if I did it right. Cookies have been secured literally two bags and each bag has two boxes in it ah that's so many cookies I felt like a lunatic in there but he asked and I had a party so I told him I had a party he goes are you gonna eat all these by yourself I friggin wish if you guys ever come to St. Charles Missouri go to Main Street and go to grandma's cookies because they're the freaking best and I just read a sign in their store that they deliver on Grubhub so basically I'm going to start having cookie Fridays every week because why not? So I wanted to show you guys the swimsuit I'll be wearing today. Um, I literally never felt comfortable in a swimsuit, let alone a freaking bikini. And I finally like dropped the ball this year and like made myself get it. So <laughs> this is from Torrid. Um, this is just one of those fully like tops that they have and then this is like their green plant high-waisted bottom um, and yeah I really really like it. it's really really comfortable it's very flattering I've gotten plenty of compliments on it hi congrats Nate <laughs> Sorry, Jesse girl. <laughs> 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 okay. 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 No, you don't go the other way, Mom. No, you don't go back. No, that's it. Lisa. Really? Oh, Who's on your swimsuit? Elsa. Elsa. Elsa is one of my favorite roses ever. Oh my goodness. This is going to be the party ever. What? This is going to be the party ever. The party? Oh yeah, it's going to be the party ever. It's going to be really a party. Oh yeah. Yeah. Get it closer. Uh, Elsa is one of my favorite Pokemon. She's not a Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, happy Sunday. Um, I, okay, the the party was great last night. It got a little, a little crazy, but you know what? What party doesn't? You know, um, I got behind, uh because I'm pale as shit my chesticles and my face took the hit you probably I don't know if you can see it in the with the light on but my nose is so red my forehead's so red and my chest my arms my okay and my butt got burnt this morning we went in the pool again today and I exposed myself to more sun damage and that's great it's always amazing <laughs> but anyways we just kind of chilled today and I slowly got more tired and my burn sunk in even more. And I'm exhausted now. I hope you liked this vlog. I hope you had fun coming around with me this week and there'll be more next week. So look forward to that. I'm gonna go spread as much aloe and um, moisturizer on my body as I can and uh, go to sleep. <laughs> Bye.